Hello YouTube, it's your girl Ambie Gonzalez from Ambie Gonzalez TV and today I want to give you all my most valuable language learning tip. I have to give it to you now before I forget, okay? Uh, like, share, subscribe, keep watching. Gracias por ver. Let's get started. Lions roaring in the morning sun. Such a Last week I was talking with one of my students that I tutor in Spanish and I came across a tip. I found myself giving her this tip that was really, really good and I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to forget it. So I need to do a video about it. So if you're new to my channel, you haven't seen any of my videos, you probably wouldn't know. But I just traveled to the place of my dreams, which was Korea. And uh, I'm learning Korean. I'm currently learning Korean language. That will be my fourth language. And... So I have been excited about going to this place forever and I pretty much have been practicing Korean. I've been practicing with people here in the States, on the streets. I would go to the beauty supply stores, I would go to the cleaners and uh, to the Korean barbecue restaurants just to practice with the natives. And so here I am like, man, I got this. So I get to Korea and I realize uh, a girl didn't know as much as she thought she knew. I realized I didn't know that much. So, and then that's when it hit me that, oh man, all this practicing I've been doing with all these people, I've been doing the wrong thing. I've been going about it all wrong. I've been practicing what I already knew. So if I see a Korean person, I would say, hey, hello, my name's Amber, what is your name? Oh, they're like, oh, you speak Korean. Yes, I speak Korean. Um, I'm from this place, you're from that place, um, I know this, you know that, uh, I speak this, you speak that, blah, blah, blah. These are just phrases that I already knew and I got comfortable at saying it so much. That's why when I say it, it sounds really good. I have the accent down pat because that's all I really have been practicing. Just basic conversation that I can hold in Korean. And I realized all this time I've been practicing what I already know. Once you learn something, you get used to it and you want to get comfortable saying it. And that's all I've really been doing is practicing what I already know versus practicing what I don't know. I should have been practicing what I do not know because that's how it's going to help me grow. And um, so that's pretty much what I want to tell you all. Don't get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable speaking basic phrases or phrases that you already know. I get it. It's, the more you say it, the easier it is to pronounce, and then the more comfortable you get saying these things. But I mean, you learn some phrases here, you learn some phrases there, and you just, you pretty much think, okay, these are just the most common phrases, and that's all I really need to know to say I speak this language. Not necessarily, because if you ever plan to travel to any of these countries where you all are learning the language, you want to be able to understand when they're talking back to you. But that's the key, that's the tip I want to give you all. Um, I realized it because there was so much stuff that I did not understand. I'm just like, oh, how is this possible? But the key is you want to practice what you don't know, not what you already know. Practice what you don't. That's what's going to help you grow. So that's all I have for you all today. Eso es todo. Um, gracias por ver. Y I guess I will see you all next Sunday. Nos vemos el domingo que viene. If you all want to email me, my email will be in the description box below. Also, I ask that you please leave comments um, if you want to start a discussion in the comment section below. Um, comments to, because this is a language learning community on my channel, okay? A lot of us, majority of us, are language learners. And probably the other half are travelers. And probably the other half, I don't know, is... I have different type of followers, but the majority are language learning. So leave comments below. If I don't answer the comments, someone else will. The question is open to the whole language learning community, and I like to read you all comments anyway. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed my tip, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to check out my Korean vlogs, my vlogs I did in Korea. Uh, all those links will be in the description box and all that stuff. Anyways, gracias por ver y hasta la próxima. Adiós. There's something I must confide. I know I said that it'd be fine. I know I made it look like it'd be alright. But I think I learned my lesson. And I'm not gonna let you out of my sight.